What you guys got another video here for you this window setting changes everything if you've been looking for the ultimate setting to monitor your pc performance so go into settings here inside settings on the left hand side where it says gaming click on this one and then look for xbox game bar now a lot of people turn this feature off but it does have quite a few useful features in it so let's go ahead and leave this on make sure it's toggled on and once you've got this on all you need to do is push on the Windows key and G together. So let's go ahead and push on Windows key and G, and this will open up this little window here. Now that we have the application open, I'm on a widescreen monitor here, so it's located up the top of the screen. So I'll move it up so you can see it. You should see something looking like this. If you don't see the actual performance area here, maybe this is off, for instance, like this, then all you need to do is go up to the top bar here and click on the actual performance tab. You can toggle these on and off by clicking on this bar up here. So click on the performance tab and this will open it up if it isn't opened already. Once we see this, this is exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and open up the actual performance by going to this little area here that says performance options. Click on this and it will open up the performance options panel. Now we have the performance option panel open, we can go to graph position and set this to the bottom. This is going to allow us to pin this to our taskbar. So now we have that set, all we need to do here now is go to override default transparency and set this to 100 because we want to be able to see our actual uh, graph. Next, use an accent color of your choice, depending on the color of your taskbar will determine what color you should use. I'm just going to go for, say for instance, orange here, but green is probably going to be the best color. So let me go ahead and select orange, and we're going to leave all the metrics enabled. This is for CPU, GPU, VRAM, RAM, and FPS. You won't see the FPS uh, down there until you are playing a game, and this will tell you what FPS you're getting inside the game. Once we've done this, we can close this panel off, and then go back to the performance panel, which is this little one here. Once you can see all the little tabs are ready to go, you won't see the FPS one yet until you're playing your game. But that's okay. All we need to do now is literally get this down to the bottom of the taskbar. So let me go ahead and uh, what we're going to do is close this up by using that little arrow here. And this will allow us to move the actual performance graph around here. So let me go ahead and just drag this down to the bottom of the screen. I'll just need to drag my screen capture software down so you can see my taskbar. There we go. So now we're down here. All you need to do is locate this into the position you want. I'm going to put it just down here, but you can literally put this wherever you want on your desktop. Now you can see that little arrow there, that will drop down arrow. And now we need to pin this to our taskbar and you see it go orange there. Once we click on an empty space on our desktop, the actual uh, Xbox uh, graph will go away and it will be embedded in the actual taskbar here. Now, orange doesn't look quite good enough. So what I'm going to do is open this back up and expand it. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the color again uh, to green because I think green's going to look better. So go back and push Windows key and G to open it back up and now go back into the options panel here and change the color to green. And that's it. Now we can click on close and click on the empty space here and it will embed it into our taskbar. Now if you want to keep tabs on this while you're playing games, you can play in window mode and you'll be able to see this at the bottom of the screen. This is quite useful for people that are having temperature issues or their CPU is cranking up to something ridiculous or you may have issues with frame drops and stuff like that. You can keep an eye on this temporarily just to see what's going on with your system. So you don't have to have it down there all the time, but if you're on your computer generally and you're video editing and you want to see what the CPU is doing or the GPU is doing or any of that sort of stuff, you can look at the graph down here. You can still open it up and move around with the tabs here as well to get some information, but it's quite useful to have it down on the taskbar. And so many people have asked me about making another video about using different software to get that pinned to the taskbar. Now, like I said before, you don't really need to have this pinned to the taskbar. You can have it on your desktop or wherever you like, and you can have it open or have it in a slim line 
just exactly like that. You can also close it and it will go away and it won't be on your desktop anymore. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and uh, I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Now remember, if you've got any computer tips or tricks, let me know in the comments section below what sort of videos you want to see and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Other than that, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.